Being a rookie first robotics team can be quite a challenge. So having an experienced team to help show you the ropes can make a huge difference. This 10-year veteran Gateway High School team is helping first-time team Metal Storm from the St. Louis Science Center. It's a challenge, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, you're kind of stuck and luckily for us, we had Gateway to help us. That was kind of intimidating because like they knew more than us. And, like we were a rookie team, so we didn't really know anything going in. So. It's overwhelming to come in as a team that's never done it before and with coaches that have never done it before and with just a bunch of people that have never done this. And the thing I like about FIRST in particular is um, the philosophy of gracious professionalism. I think that's extremely important. I've, I've even, uh, we've gotten a lot of help from Gateway. They've shown a lot of patience with us and given us a lot of help. And that's evident from the rules of the game, so to speak. You know, we take it for granted that uh, not a single one of us could build this robot by ourselves, but all of us together can bring our skill sets together and build one thing that functions and does what we want it to do. Gateway was very helpful. I mean, there's a lot of stuff we didn't really know when we started out. And so for those guys, they come in and they're just scared. They're worried, they're nervous. That, are we going to have a robot that drives on the day we go to competition? So we like to be here for them so that when they have a question, no matter how mundane they might think it is, it's, uh, it's something that's important because they don't know. And so they can call us and they can ask, you know, hey, how do you do this simple task? You know, they brought their robot in here on several occasions and we were able to show them, you know, the simplest things uh, that we take for granted, how to wire up the robot. You know, in the rule book it tells you all these things, but you have to know where to find it. And you have to know how to apply each of those little parts. But we've been doing it and so we just show them. We ran into getting the motors on, uh, getting the chain on, and wiring the components on the control board. And right now, basically, our problem right now is getting the motors to run. They didn't know how to make their electrical board, so I helped them set up that. And it's just the basis that they need, and throughout the years, the team will grow. But right now, we're basically their mentors. We took uh, all the help that we got, and we put it into work. We're going to do good. That's what I think. Because uh, we, have, we have the help and resources from Gateway. And we've also been told, don't worry, you're just like every other rookie team, and if you don't have anything working when you get to the floor of the competition, other teams will come and help us get ready and get a robot out on the floor. And I started off with a team who actually knew what they were doing when I started off, so I had a lot of mentors, so I'm glad that we could be there for them since their team, everybody is new. They're high in a higher ranking. They're the number one leading gate um, team in St. Louis. But they won't be that way for long, will it? Long. Not when you get involved in it, right? Not when, not, let's give us about a year or two. We'll see who comes later soon. <laughs> it's called gracious professionalism. Just one more aspect of FIRST Robotics. For the St. Louis Science Center, I'm Al Wyman.